Get started like a raindrop, raindrop But it's already covering me My heart keeps swaying non-stop, non-stop I guess I gotta swim in the sea Hi guys, so um, the necessary things you need for this sheer um, dress is this is mostly essential, this is the number one thing you need, this thread this is the elastic thread, you are going to use them to achieve this dress so yeah, and then if you have this um, you should have your ruler, um, your scissors and then your chalk so you guys, this is the fabric I'll be using for the dress um, let me show you guys what we are trying to, what we are about to achieve. What we have to do now is take length. And then I'm going to be making my 27 inches. First of all, before you check your, your own measurement, before you take your proper measurement, you take out um, 5 inches. I am not afraid of mistakes. And you guys, this fabric is on fold. It's folded into two. So make sure you fold your fabric into two then. You take five inches from this close edge to this point. After taking five inches from this point, from here to here, this is the five inches. Now you find out the from the biggest part of your body. That's what you're going to be using to get the rest of the fabric. So the biggest part of my body is the biggest part of my measurement is my round hip. My round hip is 42. 42 divided by four gives you ten and a half. So I'll check if this is eleven. So eleven is okay. For the ankle, at this point, go in by four. And from here to here, I go in by four. Get started like a raindrop, raindrops. But it's already covering me. My heart keeps swaying non stop, non stop. I guess I gotta swim in the sea. So I'll go him. So I just finished um, hemming the top and the bottom. That's the top and the bottom, like this. Yeah, so I did the front piece and the back piece. So now, oh, this is a thread. Like I said, this is what we're going to be using. As you can see, this, this thread stretches. It's an elastic thread. So you bring out an empty bobby pin. Bring out an empty one and then we're going to reel this in so you don't have to use your machine to do this you can just you always use your hand and just reel it in like that don't stretch while you reel do not stretch just reel it in Use this thread, normal red, should be on the top, and then the stretchy thread should be on the bottom. So we are going to be leaving an inch 
a space of one inch between this point and this point and then we sew here so on the on the front of the fabric like on the right side of the fabric you're going to be sewing on the right side of the fabric um, and then why the elastic thread will be on the wrong side me my heart keeps swaying non-stop non-stop I guess I gotta swim in the sea I am not afraid of mistakes Rather figure out on the way I'm not gonna hide what I feel If it's real If it's real Okay you guys, I want to update you on how far I have gone See where See how much uh, fabric I have left to share. So one thing is that doing this uh, sharing with a manual machine really takes time. It takes a lot of time compared to using an industrial machine. So if you're using this machine, this um, manual machine, yeah, so just be patient and keep um, sewing on your lines and in no time you'll be done. But anyways, you guys, um, I'll be stopping here for tonight. Um, I have to go sleep. I'm tired. It's already dark. It's almost 12 a.m. So I'm going to be stopping here and I'll continue tomorrow morning when I wake up. Hi. Yeah, so guys, I am done sharing um, the front and the back piece. So this is how it looks. And you can see it stretches. But it took a lot of time here, yeah, but it's worth it. Anyways guys, so the next step for me now to do is um, the next step I'm going to take is to attach the back piece to the front piece um, As you can see I left one inch at the base here to give it that um, flay effect and also on the top here just as seen on the picture I showed you guys so you can see I left the one inch and now I'll just go attach these two together from the armhole You sew with a normal thread not the elastic thread so while I'm sewing this together, you make sure they both they all aligned. As it's time for me to cut out the sleeves, so I'll just paste my tape and calculate what I have here. So approximately six inches. So now I'll be cutting out the sleeves. This is the fabric for the both sleeves. Um, length 20 inches. It started like a raindrop, raindrop. But it's already covering me. My heart keeps swaying non stop, non stop. I guess I gotta swim in the sea I am not afraid of mistakes Rather figure out on the way I'm not gonna hide what I feel If it's real, if it's real I got my light up No crack, no care Six inches, so because I wanted to to, I'm going to be folding hem in here for the elastic. I'll be adding elastic to the top of this part, so I'll create, I'll take it down. Five inches and then I'll be sewing with the elastic thread on the line so I'm taking five inches from the base upwards and I'm going to sew on this line like three three lines I'll make three lines for the brush for where I'll be sewing the elastic um. So on the base of the sleeves, I'll hem this in, I'll hem it in, 
hemmed it down like I said I will I would and then I did just four lines on the sleeves that's on the dress we're trying to um, recreate I have like five to six lines but I decided to stop at four lines like so now I'll go ahead and pass my elastic through Okay, so after passing the last two through, I'll just go so here by half an inch. I will join this. So the slips are ready for them to be attached to the dress. So now I'll be attaching them to the dress. I'll be sewing them together. Let me see. 